Okay, good day everyone. Welcome back to HUIS Steve. Um, this is just a quick update to let some people know who have been hanging on the uh, AV in and AV out of the Cyclops goggles that it's still happening. Um, I've just changed my mind how we're going to do it. We've got a slow boat from China coming with all the gear I've got planned for the next upcoming videos that I've been about to roll out. Three quarters of, of the stuff's here and the other quarter of it that makes every single little video I was going to do over the next month. I don't know, a slow boat from China stranded somewhere. But anyway, we were going to do that video on the, uh, the video in on the Cyclops goggles. And the video in was going to be achieved by using a cheap and nasty TSR um, switchable socket. Well, after doing a drawing, doing half a video on it, waiting for the parts to turn up. I've gone, bugger that. Crappy, dirty way of doing it, mechanical switching. So, up on the screen now that I'm just showing you is a three-way switch, which is a video switch, which is used for cameras on board of an aircraft. Um, when you're flying, you switch that switch remotely, usually using your, um, your radio. You'd plug it into a spare channel on your receiver and uh, PWM signal comes out and switches it. So you have three different signals. You would have it on a rotary switch or you would have it on a three position switch and that would give the three different ranges of the PWM signal and that changes the video. So we're not going to be doing it quite like that because it's in the goggles and we don't have a receiver. We're going to use an Adreno Mini, not the Nano, with the USB on the end, but the Mini. And um, it's just a little bit shorter. It won't have all these pins. So that will go with the item you've just seen. And we'll whack that in, and that'll switch for us three channels of audio video. Okay? So we'll have a little tactile switch coming through, and that's where we're up to with that. I'm waiting on the bits. Sorry. Okay. Dribs and drabs are coming in. Um, the filter, inline filter for the noise problem with the goggles. It's only a very slight noise problem, which I think is probably coming from an unshielded bit of servo wire that I've got running through the back of the, the, the goggle here behind the screen. It's probably creating a little bit of noise on that line. So, uh, filtering the power to the DVR mightn't work. If it does, great. If it doesn't, it's because I haven't used the screen, a little bit of cable to run around inside the goggles. And really, we should be using a little bit of screen cable to do that. Okay, so that'll be part of the video as well. And just a, f a few vids that will be coming up. You do, if you've seen my other videos lately, you'll notice that I'm going name brand on everything. Well, the reason for going name brand on everything is because I'm finally getting rid of 3S and I'm going to go 4S. Um, I've got the 65C batteries turning up, 65C, 75C, 70C. I've bought several of them. This is the first that's arrived. So we'll do a little bit of a battery bid as well when they all come in. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for hanging in there. The, uh, the goggle mods will carry on and we'll get back to them as soon as we can. So subscribe so you know when they're coming. Put a thumbs up or a thumbs down down the bottom, and we'll be seeing you soon. Okay, bye.